All right, what's good, Emacs gang? It's been a while since I did a video. Been a while since I did a video on Emacs cryptocurrency. Uh, kind of been thrown for a loop with a few things they were doing, but I'm still bullish though. So if you still Emacs crypto gang, put that in the comments, okay? So in my AMP crypto videos, I put them in the same category because of the real life use cases. Um, and I'm going to highlight something that they're doing, they've been doing uh, recently um, that, that really emphasizes my point and why this has a future. Emacs crypto has a future as well as any cryptocurrency that goes after real world application, real life usage as their main efforts, okay? You can have all these influencers and all that extra crap, but real life usage, real world application, that's what's gonna happen. Okay, so, you know, what was that? June 6th, uh, they headlined one of the largest events with Mayweather versus Logan Paul, blah, blah, blah. So they were asking, does Emacs have any real successful use cases? And they do, they have a few under their pocket, okay? So, I mean, they're doing it, they're doing it, okay? So you can't pay attention to those daily um, charts over there on the exchanges and everything. What you need to pay attention to is the fact that cryptocurrency is supposed to be making this a cashless society. So the coins that are gonna be accepted mass adoption wise, meaning you can use it in the most places, it can actually become a real currency of choice to buy more than just some games on some site or some porn on some websites or some marketplace type stuff or some meme coin. This Emacs crypto and AMP crypto, I, I like those two because of the real life use cases. You can actually take them offline and buy things with it. You understand what I'm saying? So we were able to get fight tickets and all that extra stuff with it. So that's some real life usage. But what I want to show you is that was back in June. But I said, you guys need to get bullish and you need to go out and the community needs to pump these coins itself. It's a community token. It's not up to influencers or something like that. So if you look at this, look at Glux right here. So this is an actual car service, real stuff. That's what I'm talking about. You have to make it woven into the fabric of real society. Like it, my grandma needs to be able to use it, okay? So here we go. So Glux car service is a luxury car and chauffeur service based in New York City. You can, let's see if we can go over here and look up Glux car service. Are they actually a real company? Okay. It seems as if they're a real company. Let's check out their Instagram. All right, so it's been, a, it's been around for a while. I was gonna say a lot of this stuff can be fake news, fabricated and everything, but it seems as if it's been around for a while. Uh, but my point is they're going after real local businesses to accept their currencies. They're not just trying to do this online, all right? So then we can go and see that they had another one. Hold on, let's find another one. Uh, I don't care about where they ranked it on the exchanges or none of that stuff. It was another one. Give me a second, guys. Let's see. Okay, so it's a, a brewery. I don't like the name of the brewery, but <laughs> it's a brewery that is accepting uh, Emacs cryptocurrency. Okay, so they're actually going hard with trying to get mass adoption in real places, local businesses. Uh, where you can walk around the corner, go to the store, get your groceries with it type stuff. This is how you become a real currency that can replace cash, okay? All right, so I just wanted to get that update. If you want to know the price of it, yeah, you can go look it up on your own. It does not matter to me. What matters is the more they stack up those real life use cases, the more valid this coin is going to be, all right?